When I'm given the equation of a parabola in vertex form, a lot of things just pop out right at me because I've been in this game for like 15 years. First of all, it's called vertex form because you can read the vertex directly from it. Let me be clear, vertex form is when you have y equals some coefficient, something added or subtracted from x in brackets and something added or subtracted from the end. There, this generally is called a horizontal translation. This ends up being a vertical translation of some kind. This is the general form, but what matters is that you can read the vertex directly from this form. This minus two is a shift to the right of two. So the vertex's x coordinate is positive two. This plus five is a shift up five. So the y coordinate of the vertex is five. The trick I teach kids is that this sign flips and this sign is preserved. Always works. The axis of symmetry is always based off of the x coordinate of the vertex. Here it is x equals two. You have to write x equals, it's worth half a mark in my class. I wanna point out that that two is the same as that two. Now, direction of opening is either up or down, and that's controlled by whether or not there's a negative out front of the whole equation, or rather in front of the a value. There is not a negative, it is positive, so you can probably accept that it opens up. Now, if the parabola opens up, it means that there's no limit to how high it can go. See how the arrows are pointing up? It goes up and up and up and up and up. But there is a limit to how low it can go, so there is a minimum. How low is that minimum? Well, the minimum itself is y equals and then the y coordinate of the vertex. That 5 is the same as that 5. The domain of a parabola is always the same. If you see an x squared and nothing else of, like no other x is mixed in, I guarantee you the domain is going to be x, e, r. Now, I do my e's because it's x is an element of the real numbers. And I do my r's with a double bar as well, and I put in the set notation. Do it however your teacher requests it. The range depends on the direction of opening and the max or min value. Because we are going up from 5, we will say that the range is y greater than or equal to five. See, the up is the fact that it's greater than that threshold. You should write y is an element to the real numbers as well. Put it in your set notation curly brackets and you're done. If you'd like to join me to do another one, let's. The vertex is controlled by the horizontal shift, seven to the left and the vertical shift, nothing. That's the coordinates of my vertex. The axis of symmetry comes from the x coordinate of the vertex that you just wrote down. The direction of opening comes from whether or not there's a negative out front with the a value. There is a negative out there. This one opens down. I'm just gonna draw that so we can visualize it. If it opens down, there's no limit to how low it can go, which means that we have a maximum somewhere. That maximum, remember, is always the y-coordinate of the vertex. The maximum here is y equals zero. Do you remember what the domain of every parabola ever is? The answer is x, e, r. x is an element of the real numbers. And the range, Again, depends on the direction of opening down and the threshold maximum or minimum. Here we're going down from zero, so we will say y less than or equal to zero. We'll tack on the y e r and the curly brackets for show. There you go. I argue it's easy to state the properties of quadratic functions especially from vertex form, 
All it's going to take is a little practice. I know you have it in you. I believe in you. Best of luck.